Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Hacks, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about custom price lists and providing pricing feedback to Xactimate. Now, this is a fairly popular subject. We hear a lot of complaints from contractors that they don't feel they are being paid fairly by the Xactimate price list and that it doesn't reflect the actual costs they face on a day-to-day -day basis. In some cases, that's a valid complaint. In others, it's a bit of an exaggeration. So everybody needs a scapegoat to blame for their uh, issues. Well, I wanted to clarify how you can make a custom price list within Xactimate to charge the prices that you need to charge, usually outside of uh, TPA work. And then I want to show you how you can give that pricing feedback to Xactimate. So Xactimate can adjust their price list to reflect what the actual costs in your region are. First and foremost, you'll see we have here the normal Xactimate 28 window up. I'm going to go over here to the price list tab in Xactimate. And I'm going to go to the most recent. As you can see here, I already made a practice one in the preparation for this video. But I want to show you how you right click on this, the most recent price list I've gotten. I'm going to click duplicate. Now, the first thing you have to know is that when you are renaming this price list, because you will have to rename the duplicate, I would recommend that you keep the state and the two letters of your region there. Otherwise, it'll ask you to input your own tax information later. So save yourself a little time by leaving those first four letters there to reflect the state and the region that you're working in. In this case, I'm going to name the rest of it AIF Hack. I'm going to leave it blank in profile. We always work in carrier. Let's leave it in carrier. Items to copy all. Once I hit OK, it's going to open up this price list in a new window. It may not open on this screen. Oh, there it is. CASD AIF hack. So I'm going to double click this with my left and it opens up right here. Now the best way for you to affect pricing is in the labor pricing, in the labor rates. As we see here, we have labor rates for all the trades in Xactimate. Uh, if you would like to change it so that it more accurately reflects the costs that you face, the wages that you pay your workers. Let's take this carpenter finish trim cabinet line item uh, to start off. It's saying here in the bottom right, the worker's wage is 25.16. That's what you are paying your employees. Labor burden. Uh, we are worked very closely with Ben Justison uh, and a fellow Xactimate trainer. Uh, and he has described labor burden. The percentage is fairly accurate. He has never really found a need to adjust that. So we recommend leaving labor burden as itself by itself. Um, then you have your labor overhead here and your retail labor. So the easiest way for you to create your own custom price list is to change the worker's wage here, whatever you pay your workers. Now, in order to avoid um, collusion, I'm going to be using fake numbers here. I will repeat, these are not real prices that we are paying people in any way, shape, or form. I'm just using these numbers as an example uh, to show you how to make a custom price list. Uh, let's say, for example, the worker's wage here is $27. So we went from $25.16 to $27. That's what I pay the workers, my carpenters, that do finish trim and cabinetry. And then what am I charging my customers? You'll see it automatically updated, the labor burden, everything based on the new worker's wage. Yeah. Let's say on average I'm, uh, I'm charging or for, my, for my customers, how's that program work? I'm charging them $102 an hour. So you'll see the labor overhead already updated automatically based off the retail labor you input. So we input worker's wage, we input retail labor, and it automatically updated the overhead. I can do a follow-up video as an owner operator, how you come up with your own overhead and burden and how to change those things. But for the efforts of this video, um, that's a little down and dirty. And I want to get into the most, the easiest way that you can quickly pick up pricing feedback so that you can pr be providing this feedback to Xactimate to affect change in your region based on the pricing. Um, so there we go. Now you would technically have to go through and change every single line item here, every labor line item. Ah, you'll notice when I clicked out, this, this came up. It says changing a component price will alter the material, labor, or equipment prices of all price list items that use this component. So any price, any, any line item that uses the CARP FNC labor, it's going to change. And we're going to say, okay, go ahead and change all the prices according to the updated uh, labor rate that we've now entered. 
Now, instead of going through and changing the worker's wage and retail labor for each single one of these line items, I'm just going to stick to the one that we did and leave it at that. Um, and up here in the top right, you'll see save and exit. So now I need to uh, put this price list into action. I'm going to go back over here to the control center. I'm going to say pricing feedback as the name of my project, add new project. It opened up in a new window. I'll bring it up over here. And we're going to leave the majority of this uh, empty. We're going to need to fill this out to uh, do the ending portion of it. And let's go to the sketch. We're going to create a quick room, drop a line item in. We're going to look for the AIF one that we use, AIF hat. Perfect. I'm going to drop a quick room in here. I'm going to uh, control shift R. Good. Control shift R to reset my views. It could, as you can see, this wasn't there at first. Um, we're going to just put in a DMO pickup. Thank you. And let's do a cab lab in there. Finish carpentry. Notice uh, that the unit price is $102. That's the exact retail price that we said that we were charging in our custom price list. Now, in order to send a feedback back, I have to, this estimate, let's say for now, is completed. This is the whole of the estimate. I've now written the estimate. I'm going to the complete tab up here. And it's going to say, oh, notice I have to submit required information. So let's finish out this required information. I'll bring it into this window so you can see it. Claim rep, we're going to pick anybody since this is a, a fake fake contacted. Notice you can double click on these to quickly enter the current date. Claim number is empty. Let's throw it in there as that. Policy number is that. Type loss, we'll call this a uh, flood loss. And you'll notice that all the required fields are not filled out. Not correct information, but filled out nonetheless. So I can now finish and I can hit complete. It is very important. Xactimate will not get any of your feedback unless you hit complete on the estimate that you are working on. Once I've hit completed, it'll ask me if I want to resequence usually. Always resequence. Thankfully, this ours were already in sequence one, two. Um, so you might think now, cool, I have submitted complete on my estimate. Now oh, it's done. I've given my pricing feedback to Xactimate. I use my custom price list. They should be getting this information. Not exactly. Come back here to enclose, exit, up in the top right, this project. Now we're back in the main Xactimate 28 uh, window. We're going to go to the Xactimate tab in the top left and go down to Tools, which you've seen I already had pre-selected. And under services, you'll see feedback. Click feedback and hit yes here. Would you like to collect feedback data and send them via exact analysis? This is saying that all of the completed projects that you have in here is going to be sending the pricing feedback to Xactimate. Now, if you used Xactimate's own price list and completed an estimate, then you're just going to be reaffirming to Xactimate that their pricing is appropriate in your current region. But if you feel that it is not, then you need to go in there and create your own custom price list that reflects the wages that you pay, the labor and the, the, the burden and the overhead that you face as a contractor, and the retail labor rates that you charge your customers accordingly. Then Xactimate will get that feedback from you and the other contractors in your area and will be able to more accurately produce a, a price list that reflects the charges and costs that you face in your region. That's it. I'm not going to hit yes here. There's over 900 jobs in this profile that require feedback. So for the purpose of this exercise, you would hit yes here and complete it. Um, if you have any questions, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want us to go into uh, more details about creating your own price list and finding out what your labor burden and overhead may be, uh, we can do that. Comment below on the video. Uh, and I will put something together if you are interested. Please like, share, and subscribe as always. Uh, we will be producing one of these exact tax videos every Thursday to the best of our ability. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one.